people today think he is just a myth, a story to scare the kids. But he is more, much more. He's a legend, a legend that you don't want to find because he finds you. He is still out there, biding his time, until the moment comes when Jason Voorhees rises up and strikes. During his cinematic 19-year hibernation, I don't count the 2009 reboot, Jason Voorhees has seen his share of legal troubles over the ownership rights. The video game has seen its share of legal woes as well. But that hasn't stopped true fans of the series from enjoying the game online, even though the single-player campaign was canceled due to Jason being castrated in court. The game still has a great online community, and if you haven't played it yet, Get a copy now, because you are missing out. Friday the 13th was made for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and Windows. You are watching me play on the PlayStation 4 here. It does play very smoothly on Series X. And look at me here. I'm really, really cute. Well, maybe not as cute as my sweetheart, Juliet Starling, but cute nonetheless. Hell, look at my butt! It's stunning in that bikini bottom. So let's get the bad stuff out of the way first. You may think that the game's graphics aren't the greatest, but the design in part is to make it look like a 1980s film on VHS. Sure, there are some glitches like camera movement problems, some textures fail to load onto characters and objects, objects pass through one another, there are server issues, and if the host leaves the game, the person who has been tapped to play Jason, everyone is kicked from the game. And there are even various ways that people can cheat. We can slash at the game all day, especially a game that's had such difficulty in-house and in court. But those who slash at Jason Voorhees get slashed back. Despite its glitchiness, Friday the 13th is a murderously great time. The maps are taken directly from the movies, like the Jarvis House, Camp Crystal Lake, Packenack Lodge, and Higgins Haven, to name a few. The counselors are from the movies, and there are eight versions of Jason you can choose from and upgrade. Technically, there was a ninth version, the Savini Jason, that is no longer available, probably due to the stupid lawsuits. Wait, did I just say upgrade? No, not that kind of upgrade, but man, wouldn't have that been really, really cool? I know. I know. The Jason 10 map, Grendel and crew, as well as the very powerful Uber Jason, was created for the PC definitive version and was never released because of that greedy freaking lawsuit bastard. That greedy lawsuit bastard needs a Crystal Lake blanket party. You join a quick match or host a private match. One person is chosen at random to be Jason, and the rest of the players are counselors. Playing as a counselor, you search the cabins to find items that will help you survive or escape, like car keys, a car battery, and a gas can for one of the escape cars, or firecrackers, pocket knives, lead pipes, machetes, and other weapons to defend yourself against Jason. Just a side note, during the whole time I played the filming of this footage, I was not able to be Jason. Besides, I honestly don't like playing as Jason. I will if I have to, but some are great at playing Jason, and some are not, like me. Hello? There is a CB radio in one cabin to call for help. Calling for help will allow one slain or escaped counselor to be reincarnated as the adult Tommy Jarvis, armed with a shotgun. Tommy is stronger, stealthier, and the most resilient character, probably one of the most lucky in my opinion. But this time, for some reason during my stint as Tommy Jarvis, I had incredible luck, staving off Jason's death grip until my luck ran out. When you're dead, you can spectate other players to see how they fare against Jason Marion Voorhees. No, Marion isn't his actual middle name, but wouldn't that be a hoot? I love playing the game, but perhaps even more I love to watch the other players. It's entertaining and sometimes hilarious, like this player who climbed a large rock that Jason couldn't climb. So she decided to dance in the pale moonlight with her tight little shorts. God bless her. 
When I watch the movies, I root for Jason. But when I watch the game, I always root for the other players. Jason belongs in hell. I'm going to see he gets there. And you can help Jason go to hell. There are various videos on how to do that, so I won't detail that here as I haven't done it yet. Don't get me wrong, even though it's a tad sloppy, the game does one thing well. It keeps players hooked. It's true to the lore of the franchise with characters, weapons, and locations. If the lawsuit would have never happened, who knows where this game could have gone. That greedy lawsuit bastard! Sometimes the campers get away from Jason, Mary, and Voorhees. Maybe it's luck. Maybe it's skill. Maybe you found a brand new car. The blue car seats four passengers. The yellow car only seats two. Occasionally, you're trying to escape, and a moron gets in your way. Well, when this happens, morons die. And there are times when Jason kills everyone. So grab your popcorn for Jason Kills Theater. See that like button? Please slash it and subscribe for more bloody good times here inside the game closet. Shake it, girl. You know you got it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs>